Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here, and today guys, I've got a deck profile for you. But before we get into the video guys, I just want to tell you that this video has been one big gigantic pain to make because I keep running into a lot of technical difficulties. So yeah, I just have one of the best takes that I probably ever had on a deck explanation and the video cut out. So I'm going to try to make this pretty quick here. So we're going to be covering Mega Scizor EX here. It has Iron Crusher for 120. Discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon or a stadium in play. Does 120. Can two shot a lot of stuff. So we're going to be playing a 3-3 line in here. Uh, next up we're going to be playing Registeel. It has Forbidden Iron Hammer. Has some synergy with Scizor. And pretty much uh, opponent's active Pokemon is an EX. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, also this is a non-EX attacker. So this is really sweet. Uh, against Regice. Uh, the reason why I don't have Bronzong in here is because it was very clunky and I just didn't like it and I just opted for the 4 Mega Patch. And you guys can see all the trainers here. Next up we have Aegislash. Aegislash is really good. Also helps screwing with their energy because it has Mighty Shield. Uh, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from each of your opponent's Pokemon. It has any special energy attached to it. And then it has Slash Blast 40 plus 20 more for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. So that's pretty good. If they, have, if they have a bunch of special energy, then send up uh, Age of Slash should be all right. Uh, next up, we have three Shaman EXs in here for setup, just helping you set up. Then we have Hoopa for Scoundrel Ring. Search your deck for up to three Pokemon EX. And reveal them, put them in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. That's pretty good about getting Scizors and Megas to your hand. And that's going to cover the Pokemon, except for regular Scizor. It has Steel Wing 20. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. Gale Thrust that this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn. This attack does 60 more damage. So if you have an active and you escape rope or switch it, you're going to be doing 110. Uh, I run Battle Compressor. This is a really good way to get supporters in your discard pile if you um, have a VS Seeker in your hand and no supporters. Also, it helps you get Metal Energy into the discard pile so you can Mega Patch them on later. And uh, you see one of the biggest fails ever in the upcoming gameplay with this card. I run 4 Crushing Hammer. I don't run Crawdont. That is going to be a future video. But I run Crushing Hammer. Flip a coin if heads. Discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, pretty much uh, this is for the basic energy. Scizor discards the special energy. I do run Escape Rope and Switch. I run a Professor's Letter in here for energy. Uh, just getting it to your hand. Super Rod so you can shuffle your stuff back in. Maybe Age of Slash is like a key card in a matchup you're against. And so that's a good way to shuffle them back in there. Uh, three Trainers Mail. This is really in here just to grab your supporters and your trainers. Like your spirit links and everything. Uh, I opted for an odd list. I've been working on this for a while now. And so this is kind of what I'm comfortable with. What I like. The, you can definitely make some changes to it. Make make it a little more to your, towards your style. If you want to add in Bronzong, definitely go for it. I run 4 Ultra Ball. This is pretty much in here just to search out your Pokemon. Uh, discard Metal Energy. Get stuff out of your hand. Just whatever. Ultra Ball. Play 4 of them. It's pretty consistent. Also, you can grab Hoopa, which will turn into more Pokemon. So that's pretty good. Uh, 4 VS Seeker. This is in here. So to get back your supporters like Lysander. Pokemon Center Lady. The reason why I put, run Pokemon Center Lady in here uh, just to heal some damage off of a Scizor or something like that. Or um, get rid of a special condition. And so I've been kind of tweaking this list, and I'm still unsure about Pokemon Center Lady, but you can definitely run something else in here if you would like to. Uh, three Birch's Observations and four Sycamore. Then we run three Scizor Spirit Link, just so you don't have to skip your turn when you Mega Evolve. Uh, I run two Headringer in here. This is really in here to screw with energy more uh, between Scizor, Crushing Hammer, Headringer. It's kind of great. I've been thinking I was kind of switching back and forth between Pokemon Center Lady and Team Flare Grunt. Uh, run 8 Metal Energy. This is just for your attackers. Uh, pretty much, this is a number you can kind of tweak with too. This list is definitely one you can kind of monkey with and make it how you would like it. I'm starting to do this theme where I just make a deck, tweak it a little bit, give you guys a skeleton list, and let you guys go from there. And so, if you guys would like to make some changes to this deck, definitely do that. But this is what I'm comfortable with right now. Uh, I was going to run a 2-2 Zorark in here, just so that way I can use Gale Thrust sometimes, but... I don't know. I just felt like this is. I feel like this is okay. Um, there are different ways to build this list and different ways to you know go about it. But this is kind of what I'm going with. I did run a DCE in here, just one random DCE for Registeel and Aegislash, Slash. But I went ahead and took that out 
and for another card. Uh, the upcoming gameplay you guys are seeing, uh, Pokemon TCG Online has been bugging out like no damn other. And my just, I don't know, it's been a bunch of BS pretty much ever since I started recording for some reason. It'll just close. And yeah, so the gameplay I got was the one gameplay I finally got that I, like, I thought was okay. And it's actually pretty funny. And so you guys get to see a little bit of failing there. And I hope you guys enjoy the music in the video as well. There will be no commentary, just music with, with some gameplay going. So yeah, this is where I sign out, guys, before my program shuts off again. I'm getting pretty pissed at that. I have to look into that. But you guys are amazing. I love you. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.
Super.